Good morning, everybody. It's uh, Thursday, May 7th, and I'm here in front of Clifton City Hall on uh, this day, which is a National Day of Prayer. And just here to uh, encourage you, as uh, 1 Timothy 2 says, to be praying for our city, be praying for all people, to be praying for uh, authorities and those in power locally and uh, nationally. Um, God don't, wants us to leave uh, peaceful and quiet and dignified lives, seeking the welfare of the cities where we live. And so that's what we pray about today. And I'll lead you here in prayer in just a minute. But I want to just continue to encourage you uh, to continue to grow in the Lord, um, gather together around His Word in prayer as a family. And uh, we'll continue to meet online, likely through the month of May, as it sounds like from the governor's recent uh, um, press conference. So we'll continue to do that. Tonight we'll be meeting for our um, video study of uh, on covenants and then um, again with uh, Mother's Day this weekend. And I'll be sending you a reading or a part of a reading that will help you and prepare you for that time that we're going to be together on Sunday as we focus on uh, the, the unique role of women in the in the progress of the gospel and the work of the kingdom. So I ask that you uh, think and uh, prepare for that as well. Um, but as I'm here in front of uh, Clifton City Hall, um, just continue to pray for our government right now and our local officials who have such a, an important task in uh, leading us through this time and uh, pray about how we can come alongside them and help them. That First Timothy passage, First Timothy 2 says, it's God's desire that all men be saved uh, and come to a knowledge of the truth. And uh, that's what we're here for, to seek the welfare of our city and to uh, labor alongside God in the building of his kingdom. Uh, he builds the kingdom, we work alongside with him and uh, follow him to be his unique people uh, in the world and for the world. Uh, because the world is his and he is redeeming it to, to himself because of Jesus's resurrection we celebrated a few uh, weeks ago um, we become uh, new and what God did for Jesus he's going to do for the whole world even as he's begun to do for us so let's pray that that uh, renewing spirit of God works in the world now um, bow with me as I pray Lord we pray for our city and we ask your blessings upon it right now and upon our local authorities and our national authorities, Lord God. We pray for all uh, people that are in our uh, neighborhoods and communities, Lord God, that you'll keep them safe, you'll bless them, and that, Lord God, you'll use us to uh, be a blessing to them and to show us by the work of your Spirit, Lord, how we can do that. Continue to establish us and strengthen us as your people here for the world, for the city of Clifton, for this area of New Jersey, and. Uh, in the lives of people that we interact with all the time. See us through these days. Give blessing and strength and wisdom, Lord, to our leaders. And, and again, to, uh, to all of your people, Lord God, as we uh, uh, guide and bring uh, hope, faith, and love that's found in Jesus uh, to our cities, towns, states, country, Lord God, in this time. We pray this all in the wonderful name of Jesus who has all of this in his hands. And Lord, somehow, some way we know this is part of your wonderful plan for your world and uh, for our lives in it. And we give you thanks for that. And we pray it all in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a blessed day, everyone. Uh, talk to you soon.